As only essential businesses are remaining open, a local livestock veterinarian is having to choose what calls are considered as an emergency and what is not. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap reports. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham's stay-at-home order says that veterinarians can still operate, but only for emergency veterinary and livestock services. But livestock vet Tiffany Wetton says it can be difficult to pick and choose what animals need to be treated, and it can potentially cause problems later on down the road for the livestock industry. But it's pretty hard to differentiate or draw the line on what's an emergency and what's not. Tiffany Wetton's office isn't the same as most. She works out of her pickup truck driving around southern New Mexico treating livestock. This time of year, many baby cows and horses are being born. Tiffany explains that complications during birth could mean the loss of both the mom and the baby, which could be detrimental for farmers and ranchers whose livelihood depends on those livestock. The other day I had to do a C-section on a on a cow that that wasn't able to have her um, calf normally and just another example of something that can't necessarily you know wait and the baby had to be taken care of. Tiffany adds that springtime is when livestock need their vaccinations to prevent them from getting viruses saying if she doesn't vaccinate now we could see more animal viruses pop up later in the year. Tiffany is now asking livestock owners if they are able to monitor sick animals on their own and report back to her to see if the situation requires immediate attention or if it can wait. Reporting in Anthony.